Yo, welcome back everybody. Beard Myth here, your virtual boxing coach. On this channel, we are all about providing a space for you to learn everything boxing, starting you from square one. Today, we're going to be going over how to effectively and safely throw body shots. Let's hop right into it. All right, let's first go ahead and start off with straights to the body. The absolute most important thing you really got to focus on here is your level changes. You cannot be throwing your punches down because you're going to be throwing them down at an angle, which is going to leave you exposed for much longer. So you have to get that level change, get that bend in the knee, scoot your butt out and really lower your level. Another important thing is to slip while you're throwing it this will move your head off the center line so you are not getting hit as easily because you're not just squatting up and down making it a lot easier for your opponent instead you're moving on two axes instead of one another key thing to keep in mind is that you really need to make sure your other hand is high because you are going to be a little bit more exposed when you are throwing these shots to the body and you're going to have a slightly less mobility obviously because you're fully squatted in this position Make sure you are getting full extension on your straights to the body. So your jabs and your crosses, you want to make sure that the body is right at the end of those punches. So you're getting the maximum range and you're not exposing yourself to stronger hits from your opponent. So you may be thinking to yourself, what am I supposed to do after I throw these body shots? Because I'm still in range of my opponent. I have taken the time to change levels, throw to the body. Maybe they weren't super effective. So immediately after you are done throwing your combos to the body, you need to move out of range. You either need to move back out of range or you need to pivot off of the center so that you're moving and that you are not a stationary target. All right, we've gone over straights to the body. Now let's go ahead and cover hooks and uppercuts. The most important thing with hooks and uppercuts, you're really not going to be able to throw these to the body from the same range that you're throwing your straights. You're going to need to move in closer. You're going to be in the inside fighting range. When you're throwing your hooks and your uppercuts to the body and you are that close, you need to sit with your punches so you can get more value out of it. One, this will help again change your level so you are not stationary. You're not moving in one direction when you're inside, which will make you harder to hit. But you are also getting a lot more power because you're getting more drive from your hips and your legs with being on the inside again you are exposing yourself to much stronger hits so you are going to need to keep these two things in mind and you're going to need to have your higher guard and make sure that your chin is tucked so when you're throwing one punch one hand is up covering really high because you do not want to get caught and either a knock you off balance or b just knock you on the ground those are just some of the big things that you really need to keep in mind when inside fighting. In another video, we'll dive a little bit deeper and get uh, into more of the details. The last thing you need to keep in mind when you are on the inside, you need to make a decision to either move forward and close the space or you need to move out and get out of range. The safer option is obviously to move out of range. Thanks for watching everyone. Go ahead and subscribe, like, and uppercut that notification bell to stay up to date. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or want me to take a look at your body shots that you're practicing. Also, I live stream on Twitch if you want to ask me questions there. A link for that will be down in the description. Thanks again guys and I'll see you in the ring.